Percy and Harold. Percy worked hard at the harbour. Toby helped, but sometimes the loads of stone were too heavy and Percy had to fetch them for himself. Then he would push the trucks along the quay to where the workmen needed the stone for their building. An airfield was close by and Percy heard the aeroplanes zooming overhead all day. The noisiest of all was a helicopter which hovered, buzzing like an angry bee. <laughs> Percy said, Oh, you stupid thing! Why can't it go and buzz somewhere else, hmm? One day, Percy stopped near the airfield. The helicopter was standing quite close. Percy said, Oh, hello. Who are you? And the helicopter said, Well, I'm Harold. Who are you? Well, I'm Percy. Uh, what whirly great arms you've got. Well, they're nice arms, actually. I can hover like a bird. Don't you wish that you could hover? Oh, certainly not. I like my rails. Thank you. <laughs> I think railways are slow. They're not much use, you know, and quite out of date. And he whirled his arms and buzzed away. <laughs> Percy found Toby at the top station, arranging trucks. I say, Toby, you know that Harold, that stuck-up whirlybird thing? He says I'm slow and out of date. Just let him wait. I'll show him. He collected his trucks and started off, still fuming. Soon, above the clatter of the trucks, they heard a familiar buzzing. <laughs> Percy's driver said, Hey, Percy, there's Harold. He's not far ahead. Let's race him. Oh, yes, let's. And Percy, quickly gathering speed, shot off down the line. The guard on Percy's train had a flask of tea given to him by his wife for his elevenses. He had just poured out a cup when the van lurched and he spilt it down his uniform. He wiped up the mess with his handkerchief and staggered to the front platform. Percy was pounding along. The truck screamed and swayed while the van rolled and pitched like a ship at sea. The guard was dumbfounded. Well, I'll be ding dong danged. Then he saw Harold buzzing alongside and he understood. Go it, Percy! Go it! You're gaining! You're gaining! Percy had never been allowed to run fast before. He was having the time of his life. He panted to his trucks. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. The trucks grumbled like anything. We don't want to hurry, 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 we don't want to hurry. But it was no use. Percy was bucketing along with flying wheels and Harold was high alongside. The fireman shoveled for dear life, while the driver was so excited he could hardly keep still. Well done, Percy. We're gaining. We're going ahead. Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy. Far ahead, a distant signal warned them that the wharf was near. But Percy was ready. Brakes, please, guard. Brakes, please. <laughs> and using Percy's brakes too, the driver carefully checked the train's headlong speed. They rolled under the main line and halted smoothly on the wharf. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm sure that we've lost. The fireman scrambled to the cab roof. We've won! We've won! And nearly fell off in his excitement. Harold's still hovering. He's looking for a place to land. Come on, boys. 
What about a song for our Percy? Come along, said Harold, helicopter to our Percy. You are slow. Your railway's out of date and not much use, you know. But Percy with his stone trucks did the trip in record time. And we beat that helicopter on our old branch line. The driver and guard soon caught the tune, and so did the workman on the quay. Percy loved it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He liked the last line best of all. <laughs>